Hello, happy Mathematics Day. Same to you. By the way, you know why do we celebrate Mathematics Day? Mm. Okay, let it be. Tell me, whom do you remember when you think about maths? I don't understand maths only. And you are telling me to remember someone in maths. Let me tell about you the man who was born genius. Oh, please don't tell my name. Oh, shut up. I'm talking about the mathematics genius Sir Ramanujan. Yeah, I've heard about him, but not much. Okay, I will tell you. Ramanujan was born to a poor parents on December 22, 1887 at Erod in Tamil Nadu. His father was employed as a clerk in a cloth merchant shop. However, his mother had a sharp intellect and was known for making astrological prediction. By the way, which school did he join? Not much is known about his early life and schooling except that he was a solitary child by nature. It is believed that he was born as a result of ardent prayer to the goddesses Namagiri. Later, Ramanujam attributed his mathematical power to these goddesses of creation and wisdom. For him, nothing was useful unless it expressed the essence of spirituality. Wow, I am mesmerized by his spirituality. His interest and devotion to mathematics was to the point of obsession. He ignored everything else and would play with numbers day and night on a slate and in his mind. Do you know, he was married too early. What? Ramanujan was married to a 9 year old girl called Lauki and it added more to his family responsibilities. With the recommendation of collector of Nellu who was very much inspired by his mathematical genius. Ramanujan sounds a clerk job at Madras Fortress. Trust. In 1913, he came across an article written by Professor Hardy. Hey, one minute. Who is Professor Hardy? Hardy was an English mathematician who was the professor of Cambridge University. So, finally he reached England. Ramanujan stayed at Cambridge for four years and during this period, he produced many papers of great mathematical significance in collaboration with his mentor, Professor Hardy. His phenomenal and exceptional genius was recognized all over the academic world. Wow, what a lucky man he was. No, no, his life was not easy. It was full of struggles. Struggle? In spite of being genius, he was often kicked out of classes for not having any proofs of his theory. Later, sudden emergence of World War, his burden increased and he suffered a lot as he was an Indian. Did anything good happen with him or not? Yes, yes. He was elected Fellow of Royal Society London in 1918. He was then 30 years of age. Wow! Finally he was happy. But his happiness was like a passing cloud. Why? Because he came to know that he is suffering from tuberculosis. And the most disappointing thing was that his wife was not replying to his letters. Also, he was rejected from the royalties. But how? His wife loved him so much. Yeah, yeah. She used to write letters to him. But those letters never reached him. Why so? Because his mother used to hide those letters. Huh? His mother? Ha! Huh. Every mother wants the children should stay with them. So she was of the same kind. Hmm. What happened next? Did he come back to his house? When Ramanujan tuberculosis became serious, it was decided to send him back to India for some time. He reached India on March 27, 1919. He breathed his last on April 26, 1920 at Kumbakonam at the age of 32 years. His death shocked Professor Hardy and others beyond words. Oh, so sad. 
India lost a great legend. I've heard about Ramanujan's number. What is that? Yeah, it's 1729. And you know, there is a funny story behind it. What is that? Once Ramanujan was sick and he was admitted to hospital. Professor Hardy paid him a visit. Professor Hardy told Ramanujan that he rode a taxi cab to the hospital with a very unlucky number. Then Ramanujan inquired what number was. Professor Hardy replied it's 1729. Ramanujan said it was not an unlucky number at all but a very interesting number. The only number that can be represented as a sum of two cubes in two different ways. Wow! Thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful and inspiring story.